Um, also, and this is a thing not everyone can do, but with practice, if you get it, like if you get good at it this way, you can actually go up like this, and then sometimes you can go like right between people. Doesn't can't always do it, you know. Not everyone can do it, but it really does make a difference if you're in a really crowded thing. And the other thing about having this hand free is if this hand is free and you do get bumped and the tray starts to tip, you've got a safety. You know, you can grab. It. You know, when I'm picking that tray up, I'm going to use this hand to make sure it's really stable. Now, 99% of the time, we're going to be picking the tray up off a tray stack. Sometimes a table, a tray stand, I'm sorry. So you, and the best thing to do is to bend down. You put your hand in the middle, you pull it over to you, and then you stand up with your knees. So you're not trying to lift with a whole bunch of weight. You're not twisting and turning your back, because again, that's really bad for your back. So you're going to have it down, you're going to go down, you're going to pick it up, you're going to stand up, it's right there. Get up on your fingers if you want. You walk, you go wherever you're going. Oh, we get there. Okay, oh, ready to serve some food. Reverse the procedure. Kneel down. Goes right on the tray stand. When you put the plates on, I mean, you, just, you always want to have the plates in this pattern. Um, if you've got four plates, two at the end, two at the sides. And we're going to cheat and we're put some extra plates on there because there's no food on them. Make it heavier. Plate covers go on. It can be a little rattly sometimes. And most of the time, the kitchen's going to do this for you. You're not going to, most of the time, the chefs will load it. And if you're going to do two sets, Somebody is going to drop one. In a perfect world, it never happened. When we were here three, four, five weeks ago, I can't remember, they had the university managers over here helping to deliver food, and one of them dropped a tray. Mm -hmm. So, um, everyone, you know, it's just, if you drops it, you don't panic, you stop, you help clean it up, you get back to serving the people. So, that's just one thing, is you can't let the fear of that happening keep you from wanting to do it. So, anyway. We got it loaded up like it would be for dinner. Same deal, bring it over to you. It's a little heavier. You come up, you have it. In practice, you have it on one hand. You go, you walk to wherever it is you need to go. And then get in the reverse of the seat. Bend down, land it on the tray, make sure. And one other thing I like to do is if somebody else is loading the tray for me, before I pick it up and go, I shake just a little bit and make sure everything's locked on. Just enough that I, you know it's not gonna, you know, if the guy didn't put the cover on the bottom plate right, you know, it's gonna slip. I want to get that fixed before I pick it up. And usually just move your hand like that on each one for a second will take care of that. But pull it to you, get your hand in the middle. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna go real high with that because that is heavy. But when you're clearing, um, or if you're, especially if you're clearing like at a cocktail party and there's a lot of glasses. You have a ton of stuff on that tray and it's really light. And that's one other thing I want to talk about while we're talking about this. If we're going to clear the trays, because that's the other thing that big trays are really great for, is at the end of the night, or the part of the food party's over and we're clearing the food away. And people are bringing you a plate and it's got some silverware. I usually do it this way. I put one plate right there with the dirty pile of the food on it. And then I've got the forks and the knives, and I'm going to put them here. And so I'll bring the next plate over, and I'll scrape it on that plate, and I'll put the silverware right here. And then the next plate comes over, and I do the same thing. I scrape the food, big pile of food, silverware right here. And I keep stacking up plates right here in front of me. And the reason you're doing that is, first of all, if you're over here against this wall, this stack of plates is kind of hiding the big pile of food. It doesn't look so pretty. Another thing you can do is if you're at that point, you're not always taking napkins at that point because sometimes it's dessert still, they're still gonna have dessert and coffee, but sometimes places you'll take and fold the napkin over that big pile of food so it looks a little better. But the real key thing we want is that silverware is really heavy and these plates are really heavy. That pile of food scraps is not so heavy. So if you want that on the side, you're gonna pick up. You always want, if you're building a tray, this tray is 
perfectly evenly loaded, but if you're going to have a tray that's not going to be evenly loaded, like this tray, you always want the heavy stuff close to you. Um, we'll just, you know. So the same thing, so when I go down to pick it up, I want that big heavy, because this is really much easier, and see, I've got my this case because I know the weight's a little over, when I start to pick it up, I move my hand in. Kind of funny, I didn't even think about doing that. That's just how I know my hand needs to be. So you want that silver and you want a big stack of plates close to your head, and then you're gonna run it back to wherever we're breaking them down at. You know, and the other thing is if you don't, if we're not picking them off off the tray stand, we're usually using a table, and that's not a whole lot different. We pretend this part's a table. You're gonna kneel down, get it on the edge of the table, and you slide it over. And you know, it's sitting there, and it's not going anywhere. So at this point, anybody have any questions? You know, it's not the hardest thing in the world, it just takes a little practice, and the more you practice it, the better you feel about doing it. Um, but the key thing is, we're not going to carry trays like this in front of us. You want to set trays like that, you fit through an hour of space. If you put it over your head, you can go through a door that's a single door. Um, so I want everyone, let's put, we'll set up a couple trays, and I want to see everyone pick one up and walk around and come back and sit it down. Right here, do this. Yeah, there you go. You want your knee, your, your knee in close. So, so let's see. Can I walk around with you? Yeah, go around that table. Just let him, yeah, give him some room here. Come back around. That we're doing that, that works or that's not the best thing to be doing is if this tray is like this and you're going to pick it up don't look at the tray this way i want you facing this one and then you go down and you stay close to it you want your shoulder really close in and you want and you want to be looking that way the tray is pointed that way you're pointed that way you So I can, so I can oh, see how no, 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 no. I make it back. Oh, you can. See, and I'm the guy, this knee is awful. I have a really bad knee. Yeah. Yeah. But Tom, Tom, is how is the glue coming out? Like, it's almost. Is it, somebody has to go from the kitchen? Well, I, I, and I haven't talked to um, Julio about the plan for tonight, but I suspect oh they'll, have the hot Behind box, sorry, they'll have the hot boxes in the hall. Oh, right here. They'll have a table next to the hot boxes. They'll build the trays on the hot on the table. We'll pick up from the table and come in here. Go retire, huh? And usually here they like to do like they'll they do that thing where they like to start a little row, the front row, and go all the way down, and then come all the way back, and then go all the way down. So if you're a tray carrier coming in, you're gonna look for one of the captains who will be over by the table, and the captain will kind of wave and let you know this is where I need you to drop the tray. It's almost like uh -huh. people that can't squat down. Uh -huh. There's a way you balance your leg. Uh -huh. You're able to. But well, if you stay like this, uh -huh. you won't be able to. But if you do like this. All right, is it working for you? If it works for you. Mm -hmm. Right, that's yeah. it. I can do that. But if I put my knee on the ground. Or if you squat down, there's people that can't squat down. I'm just, just for the record. Okay, I, I, I am <laughs> older than just about everyone here. And you're in good shape. No, no I am not. <laughs> I have been catering way too long. This yeah. knee, this knee locks up. You know, this knee is the better knee. But I know also that if I hurt my knee, I take some Tylenol, and I'm back the next day. If I really do something to the small of my back, I have in my life one time I really threw my back out, 
and I couldn't walk up steps for like two days. I mean, I had to like use the handrail. Arthur, up. rest. So rest. I would rather you guys walk up to me to be a little sore than potentially do a more serious injury to all that soft, that soft tissue in your yeah, yeah. You know, because you do, you just go down. Worried about getting back up once we get down. Yeah. Well, that's 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 why we have this time here. Is the more time you spend doing it, a the more comfortable you feel with it, but the more it's going to your body is with it. Gotcha, gotcha. And you know, and that's a really good point too. You know, if you see somebody in front of you and you don't know or you don't think they know you're behind them, what do you say? Behind you. Behind. You don't even have to say behind you. Just say behind. They hear your voice. They know someone's back there. It's like in the kitchen when you go around the corner. Behind you. When <laughs> he was supposed to say that. But yeah, so you get beside it. Like I said, if you do that lifting with me, you're not you're not hurting your back because that's the that's the worst part. If you have a really heavy tray and you're trying to lift it like this, I mean that is just you can just feel right there how much this will take. You shouldn't pick it up and fill it. Same thing with the coffee cup. You can pick the coffee cup up and fill it because it's your coffee cup and you gotta take it away and bring another one. You take the pot, you pour it. Now a good trick is to have a lot of places we'll do this. We'll have a little napkin, fold it up into a little rectangle or a square in this hand. Got the coffee pot in this hand. You pour, you have a little napkin there. So if it was like a splash, it wouldn't hit the people. Same thing with the water, you can do that with water. You always want to pour water with your right hand because that glass is gonna be sitting here and you're trying to reach in between them, so you take your foot, you put your foot between them, you have your hand here, you reach in, you pour. You come back out, you go to the next seat if they need more, you reach in, you pour. You know, it's, it's much more natural. If you're doing it left-handed, you kind of end up with your elbow in this person's face. So we want to be able to kind of go sideways, deeply get in there and pour that water, pour that cup. Um, you know, you always serve drinks with your right hand because they're on the right side, but normally your right hand is taking stuff away. Clear in plates, clear in B&B plates. You clear the bread and butter plate as soon as they're, as soon as you get around to clear the dinner plates. The dessert plate you clear when they're done eating dessert. They may want to keep their coffee, but at the same time, once the entree is gone, in a lot of places, and I'm not sure about how they want to do it at night, you go ahead and you clear the salt and pepper and you clear the condiments on the table. Like if we put a salad dressing on the table, like we did that here last time we were here, when the salad course is over and we're clearing salad plates, you go ahead and get those salad dressings. Because the more of that stuff you clear away then, the less we have to clear away at the end of the night. And because the dishwashers get started washing it, it lets us get started on any reset we have to do sooner. So once they're finished with it, it can go out. Because then if I put it in my pocket, but if you stick it out a little bit, it doesn't look like napkins in my pocket. <laughs> Just like when you go to the, like the Applebee's, do you ever really want to see the waitress? So you say, oh, I need some ketchup, and she pulls the bottle of ketchup out of her pocket. I'm like, oh, really? Everyone's in that lead, make sure everyone's in place. Before she begin, everyone turns with the left hand. Beautiful. All right. Let's pick those up and hand them off to the next four. I need one more person. You can't do it. You can't do it with four. Oh, there we go. You can't do it without four. All right. And you make sure everyone's in place. And if they're ready and they all look like they're ready, then you give them a nod and everyone puts the left plate down with their left hand. She nods. No, she didn't know. No, she didn't know. Uh-huh, now, you know, okay. So you just, let, oh, no, no, don't get ahead. Load it in. They haven't even gone down yet. All right. So let's try that one more time. All right. All right. Okay, she's going to give the nod. And, and remember, there's somebody sitting here. She's going to kind of reach in from here. So you kind of come a little around. All right. So you give them the nod. All right. And everyone step to the right. You wait for the nod again. She gives the nod. And then you go. So they're all down together. All right. So that's, there are something I noticed. Okay. If they are dropping the plates, and you are the back of the plates. Yeah, so no, you're gonna you're gonna stop here, and then when you go to drop the plate, you kind of take the step around. Yes, yeah. but you want to be behind them when you start. You don't want to be behind them. All right, go. All right, you really want to stand right behind the chair. So you're right behind the chair, and then she looks up, and then you got food on that. Why are you squishing all that food together? Okay. All right. So you wait for her. Everyone's in place. All right. So you give them the nod, and then everyone go left plate. No, no, no. 
Go in there. Oh. <laughs> and remember, there's somebody sitting here, so you actually have to read around. All right. All right, now I'm going to step right. And then wait for her to nod again. So you're actually going to do, do this. You want to be facing the head this way, okay? And you're going to stand here, and then when you duck, and then you're going to reach in. All right? All right, give him a nod. All right. There we go. There we go. All right, so we're taking the plates away because they're done eating. We're going to take them away with our right hand. And remember, if you're good, and we're not going to do it now because we don't want to mess up the settings, but you also would take away the fork. Well, it doesn't, we're just clearing. Clearing is not, you never do simultaneous clearing. Take your fork. So first of all, you're going to eat with the outside. This is your salad knife. This is what you're cutting your lettuce up with. This is your salad fork. Um, I usually like to see them together when people are done. Some people say, oh, you should call them when you're finished. Usually if they're down like that, people are still eating. So you come along and they're sitting there, there's, the salad's mostly gone, and sometimes the whole salad's still there. They didn't want any salad. They say, I'm allergic to lettuce. So that plate is there. So you're going to come along and you're going to clear that plate. Now, I come to the next lady who's sitting here, and she didn't know about putting her fork in her knife on her plate. So I'm going to take her plate away because she's finished with her salad, but then I'm going to reach in and I'm going to get the salad fork. And you see I'm trapping it under my finger so it won't fall and I'm gonna get the salad knife. And I'm gonna hold that all together and I'm gonna take that away to my little tray stand where I'm busting it. So that's the first course. So then we come in and, oh, it's simultaneous service. I'm by myself. I, put, I nod to myself. I put their plates in with my left hand. Oh, they're gonna eat some dinner. Well, what are we having tonight? I think it's uh, filet with uh, stuffed lobster. Um, they eat that. Again, in a perfect world, when they're done, they put that up there like that. I know they're finished. I take it away. Now, no matter what, if you start to take it away, they got the fork in their knife, and they're like, oh, I'm not done. Oh, I am so sorry. You know, keep eating. <laughs> You're going to take it away. Well, so see. <laughs> now, at this point, you know, all that silver is gone. We have two, we have a knife and fork, a fork and spoon left. The spoon is for the coffee, the fork is for the dessert. So, say, now tonight the dessert's going to be sitting on the table. I don't know what it's going to be, if it's going to be in a glass, it's going to be a plate, but they are telling us that we're going to preset the dessert. So, they're going to lift the dessert, you know, well, let's say this is, maybe we're serving the dessert in a glass. Sometimes they do like a mousse or something, or a cobbler in a glass. So, they're going to lift their dessert down and they're going to put it right here. And then when you clear that, you know, maybe they've got the spoon in it, maybe they don't. The spoon's right there. Um, well, actually, we know it won't be as we know it won't be in a glass tonight because we know there's a fork set on the table. Right. Those are for. That's what I wanted you to explain. Is, they're they're salad the forks, dinner yeah. forks, dessert, so coffee. We're gonna steal this plate that the dressing's gonna go on, I think. So he's eating his dessert, and he's got his fork to eat his dessert with. So the fork's there. The dessert's done. When you take that away, you take this away. So every time you're taking something away, and now usually at this point we've already offered him coffee because we try to offer coffee about the time they start eating dessert. Now, sometimes people ask for coffee early. They're like, I need some coffee now. Um, bring it to them, whatever they want it. But normally, we're gonna go make a trip around the table and say, do you want coffee? And the best way to do it is to have two pots, regular and decaf, so you can go and if they say, oh, I want regular, you pour it. If they say, I want decaf, you pour it. You go to everybody, you're done. You don't have to worry about it again. So, they've got a spoon there, they've got cream and sugar there on the table in case they wanna, later on, if they are done with their coffee, you take, away the, you take away the coffee cup, you take away the spoon. So the goal is, whenever they're done with a part of the meal, we take away that stuff. Um, you know, just because they didn't drink coffee, we don't leave that spoon there. That spoon goes away. Same thing, I mean, the water glass should stay on until the event's over, pretty much. Because, like, if there's a speech or something, people are going to want something to drink. If they're two wine glasses tonight, and I'm not 100% sure how they're going to set that, you know, one is for white wine, one is for red wine. You know, if they say, oh, I want red wine, and usually it's a different shaped glass, a bigger glass for red wine. Well, if you pour red wine for them, and they say, oh, I don't want white wine, you take away the white wine glass. So they just have the stuff they're using. We put all that stuff there, but if they're not using it, it goes away. They say, oh, I don't want to drink any wine, you take that away. Now, what mistake have I made right here? Left the bread. I did, exactly, Helen. I should have taken away, and this is his bread plate is on the left over here. That's your bread plate there, a little out. Um, but when the um, when I took away the dinner plate, I should have gone ahead and taken away the bread plate. And if there had been a butter, a bread butter knife to spread the butter, um, I would have taken that away at the same time. 
So that would have gone away after the dinner plate went away, but before we, before, now we're not serving dessert, but before they ate dessert and got coffee service. So at this point, you know, we cleared the bread plate away. We really, at this point, would have cleared away the dressing. We would have cleared away the salt and pepper. The only thing left would have been the stuff for the coffee. If they haven't had coffee, if they didn't, have, didn't get coffee when we came around and poured the coffee, we took it.